Bizarre Brain Comics. Hello, my comic book fiends, and welcome to Bizarre Brain Comics. I'm Gary, your host. It's really not, this is, really is not worth the Dark Librarian. <laughs> and this is where I like to take a look at some older comics, talk a little bit about the characters and creators, and examine the stories and the art. This time I want to take a look at this book I got just a few weeks ago, but it's actually, it was still new, on the, the new, new stand at the comic shop, but it uh, actually came out uh, last year from 2023. So this is Bizarre, correction, Tales of the Bizarre, number three. And this is uh, from Dren Productions. Does that sound right? Uh, I've never heard of the, this publisher. And uh, Tales of the Bizarre. That's a great title for, for horror comic. And yeah, I think for obvious reasons, I kind of like it. It goes right along with Bizarre Brain. Ha ha. And it is a, a horror anthology. And I like this. Where'd it go? I, I, I like this. Uh, the cover and the cover uh, layout. I like they, they did, made it look old and decrepit, you know, ha well handled. Of course, that's that's in the artwork. It's not actually like that. And uh, the basic design is very reminiscent, intentionally so, I would think, of the old EC horror comics. And has a, a respectable uh, cover illustration. I like that. I like it. Has some fine artwork uh, all through it. Some parts I'm not as thrilled with it as others. But I have to tell you that with this comic is very it is disappointing. It it, it looks good looks good, package is good, but it's it is disappointing. The, like I said, most of the artwork is fine. It falls down in the writing, as so many of these seem to. Uh, this is um this has three stories plus uh introductory pages uh, featuring the, the horror host Mistress Bizarra and her little right hand weasel guy, whatever he is a little elf or goblin, whatever he is and um, then three uh, three stories so unfortunately I, it doesn't give credits for, the, for those introductory pages And the but the credits for the stories are and the first story was written by uh, James Messia, I think that's how it's supposed to, supposed to pronounce it, James Messia, and art by uh, Joselito Rodriguez. <laughs> yeah, Joselito Rodriguez. And none of these creators am I at all familiar with. The second story is written by Mike Dulce. An art by J.P. It's either Vilkis or Vilchis. And Vilkis sounds more correct to me. And the third story is again written by James Messia. With art by Drax Gal. That's an unusual name, but it's easy, easy to pronounce. Uh, Max Drow. This, and it starts off looking good, and but... I, I, I want to say that before I have a chance to forget I, most of the uh, especially the short form uh, uh, horror stories that I've been been seeing of late and I've only of course been getting a few like uh, like uh, uh, um, with the new EC and uh, the new gold key um, um, Boris Karloff and then now and this one these writers should go back and read both the EC horror books and the, uh, the the gold key mystery tiles and learn how to craft a short story and I because they might have a good idea but the story is not crafted well so here we go take a take a look and 
title page. Then we, we see we see and we don't know where it is, but it looks like some kind of castle dungeon, something like that. And we see our this artwork is highly stylized, but I think it, it kind of works for this. Um, uh, for this is our introduction to um, Mistress Bizarra, and uh, what is he? Clyde. Her little guy is Clyde. He looks like a uh, kind of like a house elf from Harry Potter, and um, she's wandering through the passages. I, I gather she grow, uh, She looks through these windows at or these mirrors, and in uh, 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 crystal ball, and uh, she sees events happening in various worlds at various times, and, and I gather she draws strength from it. And I get the impression that there is is an. On, overall ongoing story arc going on in these introductory pages that I am but this is since this is just my first issue and this is issue three I don't know but that's just the kind of way it looks she get, get calls Clyde he gets the the uh, the globe for her and she's looking through it. here we then we see our first story which is tomb of the wailing corpse as uh, some some fine artwork, good visual storytelling, and I, nice draftsmanship uh, has kind is uh, kind of a, a retro style to the art, as far as I can tell. Um, just generally speaking, uh, uh, 1910 um, archaeologists in the desert uh, finding a tomb uh, in the Egyptian an Egyptian tomb, and they go in, and but this it's kind of, for a short story. This is kind of stretched. They. Uh, going through the, the tomb and wandering around and they hear something and the thing comes to a dead end, find a, a hidden panel, goes in and bright light, ooh, bright light, what is that? What is that? They, as they approach and they see it's coming from, this is where they, the sound that they hit her come from. Arr. This is obviously it. In the guise of a pharaoh, is this giant being, obviously an alien of some kind. And it just, it gets up and just fades away. And that's the end of the story. It, what was that? It it started good, but it didn't seem to go anywhere. And that's a very, very disappointing uh, story. Then uh, um, the end of that in introduction to the next next story, which is the Tomb of Insanity. Now the draftsmanship is fine in this. Now I see in, in this first story, the coloring, of course, was all done on computer, and I imagine all of it that. Uh, was but this just looks overpoweringly computer and uh but this one is is well the draftsman is fine as uh, draftsmanship is fine um um and everything i'm not thrilled with the inking the style is okay but it looks too artificial uh it um it was undoubtedly done whether it, the whole thing was drawn on computer or, or a tablet the inking definitely was and it looks it and um, makes that uh, less appealing. Although the draftsmanship is fine, these these two girls who are young ladies who are have some kind of uh, weird um, um, podcast or or whatever, and they they are going into f to, to find try to find the the tomb of insanity where everyone that has gone to gone into this place has no one has ever come back and yada 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 they see they're going in and they're they are live streaming at the time until until they're out of range and they can't make the connection any longer and uh so they're going and seeing some some kind of uh drawings on the on the wall and uh then weird stuff starts happening and they suspect there's uh Get, uh, some kind of gas giving uh, that's causing them to hallucinate and then like weird stuff just general weird stuff happening I, I can't even describe it all uh, some and a parent cave in some, I don't then suddenly boom we're outside news news crew um, are these la are these young ladies uh, gone for good uh, lost forever because it's been now it's been what a couple of days since they've heard anything from them and that's the tomb of insanity and again what? That, that didn't go anywhere. It was very unfulfilling. Then we slip in uh, to the next intro, intro. And here we go. It was a victory through unity. As a, here's this politician uh, running for president. He's a real, real popular guy. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, comes off of his... Uh, his um, 
from his stump speech going into uh, uh, the hotel room or office that he's using, where, where he's at. And there's a young lady in there. And she says, I need to speak to you. And his uh, staffer is right there to hold, him back, hold her back and says, no, no. He, she hands him the, uh, the file that she's got in her hand. He glances at it and then tells her, tells his staffer to leave. And they talk. And uh, she says something about her, his uh, illegitimate children and other stuff and the bad things that will happen if, he's, if he is elected. And said, you've got to, you've got to take care of something. And then just like that, this gun just um, uh, appears out of nowhere on, on his desk and says, if I were you, I would consider the future. And then she leaves. And now we finally see what was in there. And there are in, in that file. And it was newspaper clippings of his presidency from the future of how he became a tyrant and had genocide and all kinds of other really bad things. He sees that, he grabs a gun and she hears bang. And then she, then she says, my, my mission was a complete success. The timeline should be permanently altered. So she was apparently from the future. She came back to try to make a correction, but it didn't happen the way she thought. Then we see him, he has, instead of shooting himself as was indicated, he killed his staffer and says, that young lady has given me a tremendous idea. Again, what? What? The artwork is fine. The, the, I'm sorry to say that while, while the stories had some inter something interesting in probably all of them, they didn't seem to really go anywhere. Um, they were incomplete... Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just sorry. Uh, and this to the creators. I'm just, I'm sorry. It's, the, the stories just don't hold up to the promise uh, of this great cover or or to say the artwork. And the, the art, art, all the artwork has its ups and downs, but it's all fine. Not perfect, not terrible. Some people might think otherwise, but I don't know. Just because, but... And of course, there's nothing graphic uh, uh, or hor really horrific. It's just to give you. It's supposedly crafted more in the in the vein, I would say, of the uh, uh, um, '70s gold key uh, uh, mystery titles, which is fine because I love those. And I'm sorry these are these don't even compare to those. That's why I said these writers need to read that stuff and learn how to craft a short story. So, if I were giving it out of five stars, I would give it two, maybe two and a quarter. Uh, something like that. And that's primarily for the art. Okay, thank you for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. Do leave your comments down below. Have you read any of the, the issues of Tales of the Bazaar? Let me know what you thought of them, if you have. What do you think of this one? All of that good stuff. And remember... Comics are art.